Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hive Productions. In this video, we are going to create an amazing coffee shop in 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. First of all, I have a 3D Studio Max and I'm gonna take the box and I will draw the box, which is approximately going to be six by six feet and eight feet height. And uh, I'm gonna make them a central lines and uh, now I'm gonna take uh, duplicate by holding shift key something like this and I'll give the height uh, approx 1.6 that means one and a half feet and I will adjust them on the top and from this part I'm gonna make a uh, three inch height so this will going to be my base uh, one is the base and another one is my top of my stall so I'll increase some width and length of my base because I'm gonna create the structure on it so in this duplicate, I'm gonna give this height approx three feet and I will adjust on the base. Basically, this is my actually uh, counter of this coffee shop. So after converting, we need to convert them into editable poly. So after converting the poly, I'm gonna take the edge tool and I will select these edges and I will give one edge on the front side of my counter uh, and now the another side I'm gonna give another H so this part will going to be my counter of uh, coffee shop okay take the polygon tool and delete the extra polygons in it I don't need them uh, so I'm gonna adjust as well because uh, it has to be something like this okay so I'll take uh, this time I'm gonna take vertex and I will squeeze my vertex in the half of the stall or half of the coffee shop, something like this. This will be my counter. So, but you can notice one more thing that there is a hollow space behind of it, something like this. So we need to fill them. So I'm gonna take H tool and select both of H, make them bridge. And after that, bring them cap. So this is properly filled now. I'm gonna take ages, approx 20 ages, because uh, this is actually going to be my detail work. Otherwise, we don't need too much ages, but it's the part of my designing. So I'm gonna take them as extrude these ages. When I will extrude them, so I will select uh, the all age. I'll take another age in the corner, and after taking the ages, take the polygon tool and make them extrude till the end, something like uh, this. So basically this is my counter and the front side and the side of my coffee shops. Uh, okay, the next step is this. Uh, I'm gonna take polygon tool and, and I will select these uh, polygons one and one by one and I will leave one behind of it. So, okay, select them all. And uh, no, okay. Left one, select one. Left one, select one. And the left one, select one. Uh, of course, you need to follow these timeline. Okay, so this time I'm gonna go to the left side and I will select same polygon sequence. And I will make them extrude. So this will be the part of my little bit designing that I will make them extrude. So it has to be a depth full uh, coffee shop. So next step is this, I'm gonna take the box tool and I will try to create uh, uh, this part. Uh, this, this is the part where I'm gonna create my own, uh, you can call it side wall. Maybe it, it, call, it can be called side wall. And it's up to you that if you want to place a door, so you can place it. Uh, okay, so I'll give them position something like this. And uh, the height is too much, so I'm gonna decrease the height. Okay. I'm gonna increase the height, sorry, width and length of my top. Something like this, because uh, it will have to be adjusted on the top something here. Okay. Holding shift key and take the duplicate here. So by this we can uh, close our coffee shop and I adjust the vertex as well 
here something like this and now I'm going to take another duplicate by rotation and I will adjust this duplicate on the back wall of my coffee shop so my coffee shop is filled all the sides furthermore I'm going to take the box and I will draw the counter table uh, but before that I need to place some pillars to give them a support of my roof all right uh, here I have adjust this pillar and now I will increase the height of my pillar which is this okay so by by holding a shift key I'm gonna take the duplicate something like this okay I'll take another duplicate from the left corner of my coffee shop and I will increase the height as well something like this okay after increasing the height take another duplicate because this part is too much empty so we need to place one pillar or one pole between of them okay so now I have adjust this wall to connect with my pillar and I will adjust my counter wall as well something like this that's perfect so according to the coffee shop that I have already modeled the basic structure of the coffee shop and now I will just apply a simple uh, plain VDA material just to recognize my object and how it will look like because it is looking like totally colorful uh, blue pillars, purple wall, green top and bottom so I, it makes me actually confused so I'm gonna give some simple gray material and I will select the black color to see the wireframe in the black this is my overview to work it is not a mandatory that you will have to do this the same way okay so now my next step is I'm gonna create counter table I have created the border of counter but now I'm creating the counter table by taking box adjust the box here okay all right now I have adjusted this box here I'm gonna convert them into editable poly and I will select one each by connection and now I'll take polygon tool and extrude the polygons so this will be my counter table mm, which is uh, which is good okay by holding shift key take the duplicate from the big behind side and uh, here I'm gonna delete my extra segments or extra table part this is my back table where I can uh, I can use my coffee machine all right then so my next step is just I need to import some object in it before that uh, just give them a black color and apply simple media material so we can see them okay I have already created a logo of a coffee uh, which was already downloaded from the Google so I'm gonna apply first of all I'm gonna apply the texture which is black has to be a little dark gray and uh, I'm gonna apply this to all of them all of them on here side I'm gonna apply this wooden texture so the wooden texture will be looking like perfect I'm gonna give them UVW map to adjust this texture in it uh, something like this and I'll go the seam and I will apply this black color so it has to be a separation of this metal and this wooden color. okay I'm gonna give the white color on the table sorry it's I think it's look like uh, gray purple I'm gonna import my logo which is I've already created on Adobe Illustrator so here it is I'm gonna adjust this logo on the top of my coffee shop I scale it up increase the size and after I will apply um, extrude modifier this is the extrude modifier which is extrude and give the depth in it after having a depth I'm gonna adjust this logo on the top of my coffee shop and as well I will add them a white color 
All right, take the duplicate and adjust them into right and the left side, both of them. So just adjust them and take duplicate, adjust this one as well. All right, so we have these coffee logo, three side of the, my coffee shop. And now I'll adjust my top part because I will have to place a light uh, behind of it. So now uh, my next part is I will just going to add add some of my objects. I'm gonna go to the merch and I will add just first I will call coffee Pepsi fridge. Okay, so Pepsi fridge, this is my fridge which I've already modeled. Uh, so you can adjust this fridge in the coffee shop because there's many people come for the coffee, many people come for the cold drink. So we have both options. Again, go to the merch and I will call my coffee machine here. So I will uh, adjust my coffee machine behind the coffee shop on the back side, back wall, in front of the back wall and now adjust them. All right then, so my next steps, I'm gonna go to the import merch again and I will call my bakery shelf. Bakery shelf that I have already uh, downloaded this object from the website and I'm gonna give the link in the description, you can have it. So it's, I did not model this object. So it's my bakery shelf where you can find out some bakery items like donuts or uh, Arabian puff and so many bakery big item. All right, so the last thing, merch coffee mug. I have already modeled this coffee mug as well. So I'm gonna adjust this coffee mug uh, in the machine. All right, like this. And take the duplicate, Some put some mug uh, or put some cup on the counter as well, just to show to the public or show the customers. So now I have adjust here, one of the mug, something like this. All right, so next step is this, I'm just gonna add some uh, material as well, which is, has to be something this wooden texture. And I'm gonna take the box and I will draw a box uh, in front of this uh, side walls because this box is going to be my menu card that uh, how many kinds of a coffee that we have already available. So I will first select this one and detach them because I will make them to the mesh light something like this. And now I will apply some menu texture, which is, let's call this texture, here it is. So it is my coffee texture or menu. Okay, so time for the lighting, go to the video light, take the mesh light, select the mesh light, and after that pick mesh, go to the object. So this object actually become the light now. The same thing I'm gonna do with my uh, coffee shop. I will go to the tube, draw a tube here, and uh, I'll take four side of this tube as a light, and I will apply the light. Uh, first of all, I will apply the texture, this black texture, now convert to the poly, select these mesh, insert them, and after inserting, you need to detach them. So this part is separate. I will apply mesh light once again, and then pick mesh, select this light. So this objects also become the light. All right, so I'm gonna make them a group first. And after making them a group, I will apply uh, render settings. Just follow these settings in the expert mode and give them these Tito settings, just copy and paste the settings on your 3D Studio Max render settings. So I'm gonna apply a camera, target camera. So I will see my coffee shop here. And uh, I'm gonna apply another light on the top of my coffee shop. Let's see, these too much high. I, no, 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 I don't think so. Uh, we should give them some different distance and decrease the parameter. 
but I think that we should change its mind. I'm gonna place them into the environment. Yes, let's go to the environment now. Okay, so here I have on the environment, I will give the link in the description from where that I have downloaded this environment, but it's a basic environment. There's no detail, it's just a boxes. And I'm gonna import my coffee shop here. Okay, so where's my coffee shop? Let's find out. Uh, this is my coffee shop. No, this is my coffee shop. And now I've, I'm gonna call my coffee shop with these options, shop select. And uh, it will ask me that some materials are revising. So I'm gonna give rename to the materials. All right. And suppose uh, I'm, gonna ch I'm changing the name of my materials. So this time my shop is imported in this beautiful scene. This is my shop. So I only need to adjust this shop on the corner side of any building. So I'm gonna adjust my shop here. Okay, don't get confused. I'm gonna show this into the camera view as well. Okay, so this is my shop actually. All right, so I'm gonna adjust this shop and after all, I will also add some textures in the floor of this. So let's add this texture. Oops, I have done this mistake. I have just applied on the road. So I'm gonna open this and only select this floor. And uh, after selecting this uh, floor, I will apply this texture. Now it was uh, looking like proper. All right, so I'm gonna apply a targeted camera here, something like this. And I have already downloaded some character models as well. And so I will give the link in the description for the characters as a shopkeeper or as a customer. So first show the render. No, it is too much dark, looking like the evening scene, which is I don't want this. So I'm gonna go to the lighting setup, which is my V-Ray Sun. This is my V-Ray Sun. Okay, I will select my V-Ray Sun and just give them a height. There's no big rocket science. I'm just going to give them a height, something like this the sun is going to the top of the sky, which is going to give some beautiful lighting. So let's see how much, uh, what kind of a render that we have. Now this lighting is good. Uh, for me, from my point of view, this lighting is good. So what will I have to do? I have these two characters in this scene, uh, which is I have already downloaded from the website. I'll give the link in the description. So I'm just adjusting these two characters uh, near my shop or in the shop as a customer or as a shopkeeper. So this old man is going to be adjusted here properly. Something like this. And this gentleman, this is my shopkeeper. Okay, so let's see the render. Okay. So these are looking properly. Now I'm gonna increase their height. This, I think, this is good. So let's take the render. Okay guys, I hope you like this tutorial. You love this tutorial, you have learned a lot. So if you like this tutorial, so this is my final render output, which we have created. Do subscribe to my channel, support the high productions. Thank you so much for watching this.